Happy Vlogmas day four. Medics took over and the cops took over. Condensed milk. milk. Happy Vlogmas day four. I'm gonna move my camera over here with better lighting. There we go. Good morning. Good morning and happy Vlogmas. Today is day four into the holidays. This morning was a little bit hectic. I'm still playing catch up with work. There has been a little bit of a pile up and currently I'm also working two jobs as well as vlogging. So my head is, I don't even know why I'm doing this, but I'll do my best when it comes to Vlogmas. I told myself I'll give it a try this year and I'm trying. Other than that, right now I'm working but later today I have to head out for, um, I'm actually going in to my doctors to get a quick blood work checkup done and then we're gonna go to Century City for some hot pot. I wanted that for a while and with the winter time I thought we would go in daytime there'll be less people and be easier to um, eat and not feel so crowded. I think daytime and weekday is the best time to go if you can. Besides that, I have some exciting product to test out. I bought myself a Wacom stylus pen like tablet. I wanted to see if it will help me when it comes to editing. I'm currently just using a mouse and feel like this would make it easier and faster and also it will put less strain on my wrist with my carpal tunnel and all that. But this is my first time trying this. I don't know if I'll get used to it. I have to give it a try and set it up quickly just to see how I feel about it. that's why the ASMR unboxing videos get so much views. Do you just rest your arm on the thing? Is that okay? I think so. On this opinion, I don't know how I feel about the pen yet. I think there's a lot more getting used to. Play around with it for a day or two and see how I feel because I'm so used to my current mouse, which is this guy and I want it to work. I want it, I really want it to work because I've heard how convenient it is, but it's something new and this I'm so used to. It feels like it's slowing me down, if anything, when it comes to editing, but maybe it's because I'm not used to it. I'll play with it for a few days and let's see how that goes. And now we're gonna go walk Jelly Bean. Oh, Bandit's right behind me. Where is he? Oh, there he goes. Oh. Oh, <laughs> and now we're gonna walk Jelly Bean. Alan is in a class, a Zoom class right now, so I'll be the one that's walking her today by myself. She is still tucked in. Hang on, I'm gonna try to open some window, some shade here, get some light in our house. Mornings are fairly quiet here in my house. Hey, girly. You wanna get up, go for a walk, girl? She is not, she is, she's a sleepy head, this one. Hey, girlfriend. Ooh, look at that, all tucked in. I see you. A girl is on the strut today. <laughs> look at that shadow. <laughs> and her tongue. <laughs> We're gonna go have hot pots. The nurse was really nice today. We had a good chat while she... While I waited. While you waited. <laughs> well, she had a rough morning. She said you came at a good time. It was really, really busy earlier. I was like, oh. She's like, it's finally calming down a little bit. I was like, that's good. So crazy thing happened on the freeway when we were driving here. This girl, out of nowhere, while we're on the on-ramp behind us, there was no other cars, just crashed right onto the right side. What do you call it? Right the 
uh, right right wall and the railings and she went full speed ahead crashed right into it half of and she's in a bmw a bmw are tough cars so technically for the car the half of the the front was smashed in and and so you can imagine how fast that car was going we were just waiting at the light like chilling and then we heard that smash right behind us we pulled over and then there was also this other guy that pulled over by the way that was rocking i think he was trying to bring back the ed hardy look at an ed hardy t on <laughs> and a jesus piece and had nice sneakers too i didn't look see his sneakers <laughs> it was akon <laughs> so he's bringing the 2000s back. That aside, so Alan hopped out of the car first. I got on 911, called the cops, told them to bring the medics. This is this is the first time I actually called 911. Called noise complaints, which is not an emergency line. You know, I've called those. Yes, I'm that I'm that neighbor. But hey, if you're partying till five in the morning, I'm sorry. I need my sleep. Back to okay. So Alan's walking up towards the, the car to check on her, and also that guy. I was still on the phone trying to figure out where the cops are and how to get them there as soon as possible. Alan sees the guy open the. He opened the door, right? Oh, oh no, she opened the door. The poor girl. She looks so young. She looks like she's like 16, 16 like fresh license for sure driving license and all Alan saw was this this little thing just like tumbled out to the side onto the floor the poor thing was like in shock she was shaking and the airbag punched her nose so hard it was the nose was bleeding and then the, the, a group of <laughs> Hispanic construction workers came out of nowhere they had no car there I don't know they where they literally like Came. rose up from the fucking bushes yeah i don't know we don't know there was no construction sites next to us too but they were really nice and they came out to help so there was like five four including alan like i think five to six men all together huddled around her none of them dared to touch her because first and foremost they were all men and it felt awkward to touch another girl they were all gentlemen and then all i saw was they kept patting her head to try to, which like didn't really help because she was hyperventilating. Like, like jokes aside, like she was hyperventilating. Was kneeling on the floor. We get the 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 guy, the Ed Hardy guy, had her sit and kneel on the floor. She wanted to sit on the railing, which wasn't safe. I think her body was very weak and she was like shaking. And then if she falls backward and hit her head on the 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 other way, it wouldn't be wouldn't be a good thing too. Cop showed up and I. Oh yeah, and then I talked to the mom on the phone that her mom was coming from downtown, which was going to be like 20 minutes at least, or 30. The cops came and they were going to check on her, but luckily she's okay and she didn't hit nobody. Nobody hit her in the back. It was just literally the ramp onto the freeway. And then the lady in a Tesla was very nice and stopped too because she said, yeah, I drove by and I saw there was like six men and just one tiny girl in the middle. So she saw me because I was huddled over the girl and then trying to like calm her down. So she didn't see, but she only saw, she was like, I, I didn't know what was going on. I thought I needed, I just wanted to come over and make sure uh, woman to woman, you're everybody's okay. But yeah, everybody band together and the girl's okay and the medics took over and the cops took over and we were off. Without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Soft. So 
so soft and squishy. For the first thing, which is the peanut butter maple syrup. Ooh. Oh, it smells like peanut butter. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. This is the vanilla. Ooh. Top it on. Get every little bit. Because we don't waste food here. Last but not least, we're going to add these. What is that? Coconut sprinkles. Before. You didn't mean that one because it's already ready? Yeah. <laughs> Here, take this. Uh, Alan. This guy is already going at it. How does it taste? Expensive. Expensive? Alright. Pretty soft. It looks soft. I use my pretty plate. Look at this big piece of toast. It's so thick. That's what she said. Let's spread this out. The rock has to eat like three of these. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. That's what he says. Or two. He did it in his video. Oh wow! This bread is really soft. I think this is bigger. No, it isn't. I let you pick which one. You pick that one. And you know what it tastes like? Yeah. It tastes like the Hong Kong French toast. The ones in Hong Kong cafes where they put the peanut butter in the middle and the bread is a lot thicker. That's why I think I never... Because the peanut... They, well, they have the peanut butter maple syrup, so... It tastes like Hong Kong cafes French toast. I'm not saying they didn't, I'm not saying they stole the recipe, but it really tastes, if you ever go to a Hong Kong cafe, but a good one, order the Hong Kong French toast. It's okay. called thick toast. Thick toast, yes. Hong Kong thick toast. They put the peanut butter in the middle and then they basically deep fry it. <laughs> they soaked this bread for a long time though. And butter. Butter. There's a lot of butter in here. This is not a food channel, but we eat a lot. <laughs> I can do without the coconut flakes. It's not a necessity. It is a Captain Crunch. Oh, no. No, no, no. Cinnamon Toast yeah, Crunch. Yeah, yeah. And maybe instead of um, the vanilla cream, your favorite. Condensed, condensed milk. milk. <laughs> I agree.